Good morning everybody, welcome to my creative time with Emma and also welcome to another Thoughtful Thursday. Today I have a simple card for you. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll go over the few items that we are using. I'm using my, my OG. <laughs> this is one of my original dies that I had created. This is just a simple stitched oval die. And then I'm using this smaller flower this is from my uh, the stitched button dies. Um, and then I'm using my favorite thankful greetings kit. This is our kit for this month. I super love this because um, somebody mentioned that it looks like it's only for Thanksgiving, but not really. You could just do so much with this. Um, my team has showed many ways to use it. I've shown many ways, and I'm going to show you another way today. So this is the our Thanksgiving greetings kit for this month. It, this is what it looks like. It has a pretty decent sized die. It's a pretty large die that comes with it. it comes with a set of stamps, and then it comes with the little. This is almost like a six by six size of a stencil, which I super duper love. Okay, so. I'm going to show you the card that we're going to throw together. I have this I have this uh, paper in my stash. So what I did was I actually um, used, oh, I also used my more stitched uh, rectangular dies. And then I was upset myself upset with myself because I kind of manhandled it and I tried to pull it really quick and I ripped it. So I didn't want to waste it because I had already cut this out and I really like this. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and put the little, the die, we're using the die from this, from the actual thankful greeting set along with one of the sentiments. But let's, so I figured we would go ahead, so you don't have to cut this little, the little vine out in green. It doesn't have to be green. It could be whatever color you want. So I'm thinking this little swirly here could cover up my boo-boo right there. I think that's what we're going to do. So what we're going to do first, I'm going to use my multi-medium mat and I'm going to use the, and I love that I um, replaced the cover with this little thin tip there. So I'm just going to turn it around and just quickly put some adhesive on here. I'm wiping stuff off on my finger because I don't want it to be too thick on here. I think this will be perfect. This will look. This is gonna look really pretty. Um, I may need more adhesive at the end, but for right now, we're just gonna go with this here. Like I said, my main goal is to. The main goal here is just to cover up that bottom part here with the swirly part like so. Okay, cool, I think we got it. Just kind of like get this, gently put this down here and I, I could tell already I'm going to need to put, um, was there glue in? I think that's okay. I don't think I'm gonna trim that to be honest with you. I'll do the trimming after the fact, okay? Because we're gonna glue it down onto our card base. So let me kind of flip this over and put some adhesive on here. Um, there we go. And then I think, okay, let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and put some on these leaves as well. Let's kind of squeeze this in here. There we go. Hopefully you saw that on the camera. Okay, so, ooh, actually I need some here as well. I think I do, hold on. Yes, I do. There we go. Okay, so that portion is done. So now we're just gonna go ahead and just kinda kind of just put these cutie patootie little flowers just kind of arrange them some way uh, we'll put one right there so I'm just going to go ahead. I don't know should I let's go ahead and pop it up let's pop it up um, let's yeah let's go ahead and pop this up because I don't have anything else popped up on here and it's kind of 
I could pop up the little, um, the vine, but the little intricate parts is just a bit much. So we'll just go ahead and just pop up the cutie patootie little flowers, and we'll just kind of just kind of sporadically put these on. Let's go ahead. Um, let's see. Let's just put this one right here. Like so, I, don't, I cut out five of them. I'm not sure if I'm going to use all five, um, but we shall see. Well, actually, I might. Let's see. Let's put this right there. These are like my all time and I don't use these enough which is pretty sad my little stitched button dies it comes with a few of them it comes with the hearts um, of course you know there's got to be hearts in there um, stars flowers um, let's see like a little I want to say hexagons um, and they come with two different sizes smaller size and just a hint bigger size okay let's go ahead and just put this one right here there we go just like so okay we're just gonna go ahead and just not mess with that um and then i already stamped my sentiment from our thankful greeting kits onto our cutie patootie oval die there just saying thanks and not sure where i want to put it but let's go ahead and just add some of these first and then i'll decide where I would like this on my card. And yes, I am hitting a lot. Somebody told me that I wasted these. <laughs> to my in my eyes, I don't feel like I'm wasting them because I want to make sure that you know what I'm saying? If you oops, let me kind of trim this up a little. When you send it to someone, you just want to make sure nothing falls off of it. Just kind of trim those up on the sides just a tad. There we go. Okay, so let's see, where do we want this? Should I put that there? Thanks. I think I like, I don't know. Put it up there. I don't, really, I don't like stuff like super, like perfectly centered. I think I'm gonna put it off to the side here, to the left. I always do stuff to the right. Let's do stuff to the left today. Okay, dokie, let's go ahead and get this down. Let me just use my little tweezers here. Just saying thanks. Perfect. Perfecto. Okay, so that part is done. So now what we're going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and take off my million uh, taped back here. <laughs> like I said, I don't like my stuff to fall apart. So we're just going to remove the adhesive in the back there. And then I'm just using my super favorite in the whole wide world, my paper tray ink white cardstock, which I will never probably ever ever use a different brand because this is my favorite ever of all time. I've tried others before because a lot of people advertise a lot of... I've tried it and they definitely were not for me. Okay, so... I think what I'm going to do is I need to trim this little flower right at the bottom portion here because when you stand the card up, that was in the way. So I think it's perfect. I think it's super duper cute. Definitely missing something in the center there. Um, let me grab some, maybe some sequins. Let's go ahead and maybe we should add sequins to those. Let's see. Those are too big. I need to use my smaller ones. I always go back to these all the time. So let's go ahead and just grab. Let's see if this will work. Yeah, that's perfect. So I, I don't want this video to be too long for you guys. So I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of arrange them on here. So basically, this is what I will be adding to my card. Only, I'm not adding any 
a twine or a ribbon, which I haven't used a ribbon like for ages, but I will not be adding anything else because I don't want it to take away from the beautiful vines or anything of the card that I think is um, important. <laughs> so that's it everyone. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my card for today and I hope all of you are getting these kits in the mail by now. I know a lot of you have. I've gotten lots of um, email so that you got them already and that you love them and everybody's pretty surprised about how big this little the little swirly vine leaf die is I told you it was a good size um so this is just another idea so this way you can see that it's this is a non Thanksgiving card you could just use it just for anything you know what I'm saying like a typical everyday card and I think this would look really, really sweet to give someone as a gift, like a set of four um, as a gift so they could have a thank you card on them at all times. And it could be different colors. I think that would be really sweet. Okay, everybody? So that is it, everyone. Um, go ahead and visit my blog at www.creativetimeforme.com to see what the rest of my amazing team has for you today. And if you are on my actual blog right now not my youtube channel you could go ahead and scroll down to the bottom and see a little snippet of what a little hint of what you're going to see next week i cannot wait next week is our first day of sneaky peeks and we have some super duper cute stuff to show you so i cannot wait and those sneak peeks start on tuesday okay um so that is it everyone thank you so so much for tuning in have a fabulous weekend and i will see you all back here on tuesday okay bye bye